Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking very natural, but it's I'm starting to cold here. We have taken out our braids, and I want to show you guys a little bit of the takeout process, and I want to show you guys a quick little wash and go that I did to show you guys what my hair is looking like now, and yeah. So. Okay guys, so we are about to take these braids out and when we are done, I will show you guys what my hair looks like, then wash it, all that cute stuff, and give you guys the length check. Guys, I have no lashes. This is literally, this is just me. This is my hair after I just took all those braids out. I'm about to get into the shower, wash it, deep condition it, and show y'all what it is giving. I'm about to use my regular Manuka Honey Stock from Shea Moisture, and then I'll show you guys my updated wash and go or wash and style and what my hair is looking like after break. Okay guys, so my deep condition is done. Um, I guess I'll show you guys what it looks like. Of course it's super shrunk, but you know, you can definitely tell that it's longer. You can't really tell right now, I'm, I'm really, I'm a joke. But it definitely is longer for sure. Um, I don't know exactly how long. I'll probably do a length check at the official month check so it'll be like a two months later but um like a full month instead of like the one and a half months that I had the braids so honestly for one and a half months of growth I feel like this is a lot of growth like I feel like my hair looks different so I'm about to wash and go with some curl enhancing smoothie with some Wet Lime Extreme and some Dugrow, the mega thick formula. I'm gonna put it on my scalp and on my hair to like seal in the moisture. And then y'all know I only use She Is Bomb Edge Control and this edge brush to lay my edges. So I'm gonna come back when I am styling it after I wash this out my hair. Okay guys, so I just washed it out. Look at the water on my shirt. I literally try not to get water on my shirt. So now I'm just kind of like lightly patting it. Because I have low porosity hair, they say not to like literally leave too much water in your hair because it's going to um, like not allow whatever you're trying to put in your hair in. So what I'm gonna do is take this much of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I'm going to liberally distribute it in my whole head. We're gonna try to rub it from root to tip. Because sometimes what I've noticed is I don't get my roots moisturized, I just get my ends moisturized, which ends matter the most because it's the oldest hair, but it would be nice to moisturize my roots. So I just rub it through. And as you can see, as I'm moving through my head, it's very, very dense. <laughs> One thing I will say guys is that after having braids, I feel like my hair has changed. Um, honestly, I feel like it felt a little bit like softer when I was washing it. Like I feel like my hair responds well to not being touched, like at all. And I feel like that like resulting feeling makes it feel good 
right now. So love that. So now I'm about to take this gel and break it through my hair. I'm not gonna try to put too much. You would think I would've brushed it before doing this. Honestly guys, am I not? This is why I couldn't be a natural hair YouTuber to be honest. It's too much work to like do things the right way. And that's not how I do my hair at all, to be honest. Like I literally feel like I just work stuff through with my hands. If you guys have recommendations for a product line that does not, um, like that goes well together, like a gel and um, like moisturizer that goes well together that you want to recommend me for my 4B4C hair for some definition for a wash and go, I am 100% with it because I feel like a lot of products that I use cause a lot of um, flaking and I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm here just using my hands. Honestly, wash and go definitely feels different already. Obviously y'all can't tell because it's not in its final form, but the curls look a lot different and I just regularly shampooed it. I shampooed it twice just to make sure it was clean. My scalp was clean and then I conditioned it. But to be honest, like, did I miss this? Did I miss styling my hair? <laughs> no, not, a, not in the slightest. And having braids was such a nice, like, break. Like, the month and a half that I had braids was honestly amazing. Would do it again, am gonna do it again. But I did miss my short hair. Um, for sure, I feel like my short hair is very carefree. Um, I'm not into like the super defined curls right now because my hair is so short. As you see, I kind of just do this like raking, swiping method throughout my hair um, to apply the product and to like get it through because I think my curls really need to clump and they're not curls that like, like to be like um, brushed through. So, still applying the gel. Y'all can see the length difference. Imagine someone comments, I see no difference. It's always that one person in the comments, y'all. It's always that one person that be like, you did your hair terrible, thumbs down. I'd be like, wow. This is the final gel coat. And we're just gonna go like this on the curls we really just want to like separate and clump them together i'm gonna come as close as i can so y'all can see the separation and clumping you want to move it as much as you can before you put oil on it because once you put oil on it and it dries you just want to leave it because you don't want to create unnecessary frizz Oh, my curls look good. Honestly, okay, we can stand the growth. We can stand the growth, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, y'all, so now I'm taking the Mega Thick Do Grow and I'm just putting it through my hair. Obviously, also guys, this is a super quick wash and go. Like, I feel like I'm not trying to do too much manipulation. I just took my braids out, literally. But I do want to properly oil my scalp. One thing that I will say that I did not do with my braids was oil my scalp that well. Not even gonna hold you, I was not that girl. And the next time I get, is this oil that dropped? Probably is, bro, I can't. Um, I need to be better at doing that next time for sure. So now I'm just gonna take a good amount of oil in my hand, rub it, and push it through my whole scalp. Just fluff it, fluff it. This is gonna be a routine that I'm gonna play with though. Um, when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to show you guys the finished result 
but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like tonight before it's dry. This is how long my hair is. I want to say it's two full inches. Um, low key all around. I just stick the side hair in so it can have a shape. But I feel like my hair looks really good. And I'm excited. I can't wait to get it like cut because I feel like it could look really cute cut, but um, I want to wait um, and get braids. I'm getting braids in two weeks, so I want to get those braids. That'll be my last time getting braids. I want to keep this length so I can get the braids. Then after I take those braids out, I'm going to get my hair curly cut into a good taper cut. And I'm excited. Okay, so last things I wanna say about having braids is that, for one, definitely do not get them before your time. Like, make sure you message your braider, whoever's gonna do your hair, send them pictures of your hair and stuff so they can make sure they can grip your length if you have a TWA like me, that's one. Or two, make sure that you don't put too much tension on it when it comes to styles. I didn't put my hair in any like top knots that would pull the back or anything that would pull my edges too much or anything. I really wore it down most of the time. If I worked out, I wore a low, low ponytail or sometimes I did like a little half up, half down or something, but nothing crazy. So I would say that for two. For three, what I failed to do was really keep it like moisturized. I knew I wasn't washing my hair while I had the braids, but um, I didn't oil my scalp as much as I feel like I should. I did it like every now and again when I remembered, but I didn't want to have too much buildup. Um, so definitely find a happy medium with how often you want to oil your scalp. Maybe if I use like a growth oil while I had braids, um, it would have lasted longer. Maybe if I used a growth oil while I had the braids, my hair would have grew longer. I don't know, I don't really know, but um, I feel like my hair was fine pretty much. Um, and then also, I did have some braids come out in the back where my hair is shorter but it wasn't like crazy and the person who did my hair did it again for free so i loved that i didn't get them redone at all while having the braids which i also love and i feel like it was just a nice break from having my twa and just like i don't know it was like a switch up in style so the next braids that i get are probably gonna be blonde or like a different type of like colorway um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Shout out to Tiana who did my braids. This is her Instagram, 100% Stan. I didn't want to give you her account exactly until I was like, okay, I'm done with my braids. I can speak on it, but it was a really great experience. No irritation, no nothing, no hair falling out, no craziness. Um, so I can 100% vouch for her braiding in the DMV and it was great prices. So yeah, so I'm keeping my hair like this for the next two weeks until I get my hair braided on the 25th of September. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will try to do a braided hair video the next time I get my braids done. Um, I didn't want to do like anything because it was my first time getting knotless braids. Hadn't had knotless braids in two years. Um, and I wasn't really sure how my hair was gonna react to it, so I didn't wanna do hella manipulation and have like super frizzy braids or like have braids falling out or have my hair irritated. But now that I've had them once, the second time I'm gonna have a little fun with them. And I will definitely show you guys some more videos when I get them done. And I'm really looking forward to this hair journey. I feel like my hair is really growing because obviously you guys know the shrinkage on 4B4C is crazy, but it's still cute. But yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.